Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to review an RPG show wig that I had purchased a few days ago, maybe, I don't know, maybe about a week ago. A week ago. And um, it is RPG show, like I just said. It comes in <clears throat> DHL little bag with my info on it that I'm not going to show you. And then it comes in this little bag with this net wrapped around it. <clears throat> comes with a brush that I've been using like crazy and even on my own hair. And it also comes with a little magazine that I haven't looked at yet because I was just so excited to just wear my wig so I just threw it on and I'll get to it though which is pretty cool you know they got all kind of stuff in here <clears throat> when you order your wig and if it comes with one of these I'm sure that you'll have fun reading it so this is the box it comes in and just close it up like this and it also comes with a description of the wig little description and it is a one stock full lace wig straight 12 inches and the name of this wig is bob 001 s hair color to darkest brown which is th this is the darkest brown i've ever seen in my life and there's no problem with that it's just if you think that it's going to be the number two that you see in the beauty supply stores i think it's a little bit darker than that in my opinion, I've seen twos that were just straight up like deep chocolate, like dark chocolate. This has more of like a 1B feel, maybe because of my skin tone. I usually don't like to wear wigs or any kind of hair weave, whatever, that is super, super dark because it kind of washes me out a little bit. So I might add some color. We'll see. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to ruin it. And um, so yeah, the texture is silky, non yakky I usually like the silky texture. Um, this silky texture is a little bit more, it feels more <clears throat> yakky to me, which that's not a problem because I don't want it to look unrealistic. I want it to have some kind of texture to it instead of looking like Barbie hair because, you know, my hair, my natural hair isn't that texture. So when it's straightened, it wouldn't be that texture neither. And the lace color is light brown, which I did not have to put any kind of like concealer or eyeshadow or anything like that just because I felt it, like it looked natural just sticking it on my head out the box um, but you know if, if I, I think if you feel your scalp is really light get a light brown um, lace color and then um, see if it works for you but I say just because there's medium brown too I believe and um, you just want to get the color that's at least closest to your scalp color and then if you want to tweak it and maybe tease it or whatever I don't know or tweeze it not tease it that's up to you but I didn't have to do anything like that and I'd rather not just because on me I feel like it would look kind of funky and the cap construction is cap 3 glueless lace cap which means you don't have to have any glue it has three combs one two three and then it has adjustable straps in the back and my cap size is one because I have a really small head and you know why get a big one doesn't make any sense so with that being said I love this wig uh, it's my first wig from RPG show and I would definitely be buying more um, in different sizes and colors and stuff like that um, there's nothing really bad I have to say about RPG shows wig um, it, it shed a little bit just because I like to you know brush a lot and whatever <laughs> But it wasn't shedding like ridiculously. Like if I can leave my hair alone, the hair alone, then I think it'll be fine. The wig is perfect. My, I had, well, I have Felicia braids underneath, but they're kind of big because I have like really thick hair and it's long now, especially whenever I uh, blow dry it. So I feel like the, my hair underneath is like huge. I'm kind of self-conscious about that because it's like, Ugh! get smaller but I'll just have one of my cousins braid me up real good and then I'll be good to go so if you plan on wearing a wig at all make sure you have your hair like really like snug tight underneath 
braided whatever because once you put that wig on your hair it like without the wig it may look like it's flat enough and when you stick that wig on it just all of a sudden feels bulky and you you don't want to feel that way because then you'll be thinking that everyone's looking at you thinking oh she got a wig on so one thing i almost forgot is i actually parted this wig on the side myself i'm not too cool with the middle part doesn't i don't feel like it looks right on me it might to other people but you know it's all about feeling comfortable with what you're wearing so i know some people like to pull it to the side not me i just part it sprayed it with water took a really good brush not this one because this isn't gonna really bring it down you know real flat <clears throat> but i take a brush that will get it down really flat and then um it actually i didn't have to do much after i sprayed it it just kind of laid flat so that's what i did to get it part on the side and because it is a full lace wig you can part it however you want but i just prefer to wear it on the side i didn't have to put any permanent marker or anything like that um although i kind of see like the lace in the front sometimes so i might have to do that but i haven't got around to it um i, I don't wear it right at my skin right at my forehead i wear it a little bit further back so that um it kind of blends a little bit with my hairline kind of like more natural hope you like my video and comment like subscribe share whatever see you later